All right, good morning, Divine Feminines. I only have a little bit of time right now. I might do a longer reading later today. But I have some readings to do, so I just, I actually really want to read cards. <laughs> I wish I had more time. Okay. You're the octopus. Oh, he's the unicorn. Lamb. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is that. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of instinctual movement right now. Like, there might not be any actual movement, but your intuition is really leading you. Um, he's really got his eye on you. Like, I haven't seen a card on his side this focused on you in a long time. Again, a lot of intuitive information coming through. Yup, yup, yup. What I am noticing is like all the elements are here. <clears throat> we don't have any any one thing. What they're immediately saying is that you're somehow worried something can be manipulated against you, used against you. There's something very, I see a lot of guarded energy, but also a lot of psychic energy. So we have the sun and then a very prominent moon here. Trapped in fear, balance. These all came out my last reading. Okay, then raise the blow. Mm. Which is a six card. This is another six card. You've been trying to change the way you're thinking and that's bringing in some new opportunities for you. Um, I can tell that it's like you don't want to put out too much energy. You don't want to put out it's almost like you don't want to put out too much hope. And part of you, I think, just feels... Ugh, there's so much scorpionic energy here, too. Part of you feels like maybe I'm just too different. Maybe I'm just too strange, unusual. You know, the octopus energy is a very interesting energy. I just feel like right now, even though we have seven of swords here and this energy, I just feel like you don't want feathers ruffled. Like I see so many birds here again. I feel like you can tell the energy is coming towards you like these rays and it's just like, if it's gonna lead to diamond light, why am I thinking that's so interesting? If it's gonna lead to, to chaos, if it's gonna lead to upset, people being upset. Now there's like a ton of noise. When I started, it was quiet. Now I can hear there's a ton of noise all over the place. That's what I mean. I think you're resisting like, if this is going, silence is easier. If this is gonna lead to chaos, and people being upset, you're kind of like, nah. 
So we have Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, Cancer. Ooh, 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 this is getting interesting. Okay, we have Law of Attraction and Law of Vibration, Diamond Light, Coins, Green Flag, Saturn, and Libra. Ooh, Sphinx and Law of Gestation. So, prayer is always heard. There was a period here where you've had to wait. So they're showing me like um, an old dark room where you would develop negatives. And it's funny, this is a very interesting card actually because it's like the Eight of Swords. You know, the Eight of Swords, we're kind of in a prison of our own making with our thoughts. This actually looks like the old negatives too, right? Um, <clears throat> There's something here where I don't usually get this with this card in particular. I mean, so much air up. I feel like your masculine hit a low, like a rock bottom here. And you really felt that in your energy field. And I feel like it's like you want to stop the free fall or you're very fearful that things could get worse. So there's something in you that's just like not feeling in a position of strength, right? It's almost just like the quiet is safer. You know, that octopus energy is a real divine feminine energy. It's really fluid. And it's very... You know, it can change shape at any moment. I will tell you that I don't feel, I normally feel very, very confident in the messages that are coming through and how I'm receiving them. But right now in this spread, it's not, there's not a ton of confidence. And I feel like you're both kind of like hedging your bets or you're both like <sighs> cancer again. I feel earth stability. I think that's what you really want. And it's so interesting because that's like the opposite of that. I will love genius. Look at Jupiter and Uranus. That's the conjunction that's about to happen. 10th house, the world. It's the highest point of our chart and second house owning. 10th house is the highest point of our chart. It's the part that everybody can see the most, right? So your fourth house is your home, your, your foundation, the four of wands, which is here in reverse. And it's the lowest part of your chart. It's your IC. And then your 10th house is your MH, right? Your Midhaven. So it's kind of what you're known for. <sighs> Part of me feels like there's some connection here between like, I don't want to be known for something duplicitous is the word that they're giving me, but untrue about me. Like, I feel right now in this moment here, you really care about what people are thinking about you. And I get this feeling from the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords that you feel like you've given a lot, but somehow some of that was really misinterpreted, not appreciated, 
not seen for what it actually was. It could have been miscommunications, untruths, lies, um, twisting of things, manipulation. I just get the feeling that something could have been taken out of context. And that you're working towards something much more stable. It's a very interesting energy. So let's get some messages because I don't have a ton of time. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. It does look like he's returning, but, you know... Six of Swords, the Page of Cups reversed is just not a great energy. Retreat. I do feel that energy. Keep an open mind. Chemistry. Flirt. Say free to love. This could be the one. I think he wants like some kind of like a finances and career. I feel like that's what's on your mind a lot. I feel like he's gonna come back in or or send you something. It even could be, oh wow, look at that. Wow, wow. It could be for some of you telepathically because look at these really strong cards. But it also could be, look at, there's the treasure chest again. That's crazy because it's right here too. So interesting. These cards are so interesting. I don't know. You're not feeling that strong. And. There's Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. And Nine of Cups. And. It could even be like. um. You know how your phone pops up. Like photos or memories from. A year or two ago. Or whatever. Um. Or Facebook does that. It could be something like that that he sends you just to like test the waters or be like, remember when this happened and to see. Or I was reminded this like, you know, these are scenarios, but I feel like it's a light. I don't feel like it's very serious, although it is serious. He doesn't know what you're going to do with this because he, I guess he sees you as having retreated and yet that's not exactly what you're doing. You're just not putting all of your emotions like out for everyone to see because I feel like you've been I don't know, I just get this feeling like you really thought you were doing the best thing, you know, helping, being, and everything was kind of twisted around, manipulated, or you somehow became like seen in a bad light, and that's a problem here. I've cried over you. I see myself having kids with you. I don't really like that card. I let my doubts and fears get the best of me. I got a tarot reading on you. Not overcoming childhood trauma. But I do see this always as inner child stuff. Like you activating each other's inner child. I just don't think in a love reading it's not really what this reading is about. I don't want you to lose you. I can't face you right now. I want to come back home where I belong. I can't get you out of my head. I want to be with you. I send you telepathic messages. You make, your smile makes me melt. I miss you. I'm so sorry for lying to you. And I even think this could be about you. For some. That's a very... 
yeah, I'm feeling like the trauma is stopping him. You know, this is the Three of Pentacles, but you see there's children on this card. And there's a pretty difficult spiritual lesson on his side. I don't know. Sometimes they have me read it this way and sometimes they haven't me read it this way. But right now it's like this. And I see that. Some, some beginning between you two really left you guarding your heart, like in a very profound way. And when he did whatever, whatever occurred here, it was right at the inner child wound, right? Like right there, it just was like arrow through the heart type and that's as designed right that's what this is this is a re you know let you see exactly the perfect storm to wake you up to your wound and cause this deep deep transformation of self right solar plexus the sun is the solar plexus the will it's leo it literally is who you believe you are like your identity and it's quite a fixed you know it's fixed fire and fixed water so emotions and you know you have earth here which is Taurus, and we had that card come out, which is fixed earth. So all you're missing is fixed air, which is Aquarius. And we had that card too. So we have all the fixed elements here. I know they're being activated with this conjunction. Um, so you may well be fundamentally reassessing who you are in the mirror of him and in the mirror of the world, right? He's your most direct mirror. Like I see this coming that you want a more accurate depiction of who you are. And that's a really a boundary thing, right? It's like, will you stand up for yourself? Will you fight? Will you confront when things are misled or, or lies will you confront it are you just gonna allow it and suffer these are the things coming up in this reading i know it's it's kind of interesting but it's like you both have had to fight for it's like they're saying your place at the table so let's get a few Advice cards are not going to be a lot today, but it's a very, very interesting reading. It's like with the lamb there, I think he saw a lot of, I don't know, I think he's surprised at what happened from this ongoing interaction with you because I think he saw you as a very innocent kind of easy target and he kind of created a very powerful divine feminine and same with him in a way and it's interesting because they're kind of showing me it's like the way that you had to fight was in your masculine if this is vibing with you, you know what I'm talking about. Like the way you've had to wake up was through your masculine energy. Of, like, am I going to allow this? And again, this is like open mind. The reverse is a really fixed energy. And are you going to retreat or are you going to, you know, take your destiny, your place as you want it to be? And with this, you know, this rock bottom that he seems to be dealing with it is his 
is feminine in a lot of ways that what he's kind of had to deal with is where does he belong? What is his home? You have protection. He has trust. I see all these ancestors and spiritual awakening. Bottom of the deck is Tanzanite clarity. So you can really ask these crystals if you want or work with them. Black tourmaline is a great crystal. Very powerful. Especially with that octopus, it feels very powerful. It's, you know, that's deep, deep water energy. And he's in deep spiritual energy. And the unicorn's one of the most spiritual cards. So you have Freya. It's not surprising. Oh, that hasn't come out in a long time. Interesting. Master Buddha increased awareness. So you have phases and cycles. There's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Perfect. He has Sanat Kamara. Light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. And that's very much like a moon type of card, you know. And then Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize you have the power. That's my divine feminine card. And then Paul the Venetian. Experiencing grace, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration are coming to you. We'll get just a couple messages. I'm just going to draw them out of the middle. Power, you instinctively know what's right for you. You have the power to say no and walk away at any time. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Sexual union, then we had twin flames on the bottom of the deck, but that was from yesterday. Honor the place of one another where you're one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So I hope these messages have helped you. It seemed very, very specific today. I'm sending you lots of love, and I may do another one today because this, uh, this was such a, a different message. All right, lots of love. Oh, I think it was 2222 when I looked. So if you want to put 2222 in the comment box, I appreciate it. Thanks so much.